is no nostalgia whatsoever involved in King Crimson. Uh, my own response to King Crimson is one of quiet terror. You, don't, you never get another King Crimson album, you get a completely different one. I mean, there's there's very little relationship between the album Discipline of 1980, for example, to Thrac of 1995, to In the Court of the Crimson King of 1969. King Crimson changes its repertoire and its personnel and its instrumentation and its modus operandi completely pretty much every time it's taken down off the shelf. That's what's great about it. It's, it, uh, it is a, a holding name. It's an umbrella name. Look out for the music. You don't know what you're going to get. We certainly didn't. The beauties of having this particular lineup, two drummers, two bass players, two guitarists, and a singer, uh, you've got so many possibilities in the making of the music. How do you combine these different things? Who plays what on what drum kit? And whether they're electronic drums or there's not, or there's two, two times electronic drums and so forth. Whether Tony Levin plays an upright bass or he plays the stick and Trey plays the stick. The combinations are endless, you know, so I think that's the reason we can orchestrate. Uh, I feel like we're kind of a modern electric orchestra of some sort. <laughs> Robert, like all good band leaders, I think, creates situations and possibilities and limitations. Defines roughly the area of the ballpark, roughly the, the pitch on which you're going to play, and lets you, then lets you get on with it. You know, so he says, hello, Bill. Meet the other drummer in the band, Pat Mastolotto. Um, you know, Pat, meet Bill. Um, that's the end of that. It's, you know, you just get on with it at that point. There's very little talking about it. We've already said more about King Crimson to you than we probably have internally. performance and what is the kind of show which people are seeing now from King Crimson? Yeah, we cover different things. Uh, there's a, there's a, a good portion of the 80s material um, and it sounds fresher than ever. I was really surprised at that. It's almost okay to, to like King Crimson. Now, yeah. you know, it's, it, you can almost walk down to King's Road with a Thrax CD, you know, and be 18 years old. My son, who's obviously 17, you know, this is okay. It's okay to be, to be here with King Crimson. <laughs> 